Picture it with me for a moment, your perfect barn. For some, it may be small, quaint, practical, and efficient, having the perfect number of well-constructed standing stalls with a tack room and feed room that holds all you need to ride and care for your horses to keep you both well and content. For others, this barn may be extravagant with beautifully crafted wash bays and boxes that go on for days. In this barn, the weather outside matters not as climate control makes working in the barn an absolute pleasure no matter what time of year. What your dream barn looks like is completely up to you and I encourage you to let your imagination run wild. Now, let's begin to build. The only thing that's going to be the same for each and every one of us in this journey of our imagination is the foundation we build our beautiful barn on. Under one half of the barn, you'll be laying the world's strongest, most proven foundation, one that comes with all the guarantees, while under the other half of your incredible structure is a foundation laid haphazardly by people of varying abilities and intentions. Some who are building it think you need it done as fast as possible, while others think you would benefit from cutting costs to save you money. That way, you can put that money into the finishing touches of your barn. Either way, you have very little control over what they do, and before you know it, being none the wiser of the incongruence in the building of your foundation, your barn is fully constructed and you are filling the stalls with all of your hard horses. Not long after you and your horses all begin to be settled in and feeling grateful, you notice a small crack. As time goes on and the new ground settles, the crack becomes larger and you finally realize something is wrong. Now, I want you to think of your perfect horse. We all know the importance of a great foundation for our horses. We invest in it, we prioritize it, and we value it. But, much like our perfect barn we just built, if a solid foundation has only been established under half of the structure, the whole thing is affected, and even the best foundation known to man will weaken due to the added stress and the lack of support. If you desire a fair and long-lasting partnership with your horse, you must focus on the whole foundation, your horses and your own. Don't be satisfied with a foundation built by the assumptions of others. Do the research and the work to build a solid foundation you can stand on, one that complements and even strengthens the foundation of your horses. Because after all, if you don't have a foundation, where do you go when things go wrong?